We're always looking at working with brands and companies that share some of the same values that we do. It's a bit of a no-brainer, you know, like Frank and Oak is all about kind of, you know, storied staples in a way. These kind of like staple items which are totally wearable, that have a heritage feel, but are totally modern. In the case of Lil Burgundy, it was really their years of experience in making shoes and bags that was really inspiring. There isn't that perfect little match for a men's story that locks into it as well as Frank and Oak does. I think that, you know, one thing that I feel like we, we both stand for is sort of like incredible product that are also accessible. Why we decided to get together on this in the first place was that it was about letting the product speak for itself. And we talk about it quite often is this idea of, you know, is, are people getting collaboration fatigue? When you make products in this world, really, you're not just thinking about a guy in a specific city. Right away, you have to think about, well, you know, how does that feel on a global scale? Just by virtue of that, makes it international, which then speaks to the collection itself, which is the traveler. When we were first talking about the collection, it was really about like the pieces we want to use ourselves. I feel like there's a true sense of connection with these items. Everyone knows that when you're traveling, you want to travel as tight and light as possible. So just finding the exact right item that feels kind of timeless and it feels tight and it feels appropriate. The general aesthetic that, that kind of I connect with the most, it's when that design actually goes into the wild and it becomes part of people's life. Let's make something that we actually want to wear. Well, someone has to do it, so we may as well do it ourselves. You know, that's the way I see things. Yeah.